Good morning, it's Friday. I'm here in my kitchen working on some more school things. I thought I'd show you a little bit of what I've been up to. First off, I made this notebook cover and I just wanted to do a test run just to see how I was gonna like it. I just made it real quick in PowerPoint using some graphics that I bought from Kate Hadfield. I'll put it right here so you can see what product that was. And I use those to create, let me make this bigger so you can see it up close. But anyway, just these uh, little labels that I'm gonna allow the kids to color. I was gonna print them in color and then I thought, no, you know what? They would like to personalize them, make them their own. So I ordered sticker paper. This is, um, teacher math, if you need approximately 20 sheets of sticker paper, order 300 because that makes the most sense. So I did. I ordered 300 sheets of sticker paper because I'm crazy. And I feel like they're going to be pretty easy to take off. Yeah, look at that. Nice. And so I'm going to test out one, stick it on here. Um, this is what I'm going to have them bring in. And of course, I have several here at my house, so I might make some up ahead of time. Um, but that is what I'm going to use for my interactive notebook. Here is, while the others are printing out, what I made for myself. I needed two because I have two homerooms. So, I mean, not two homerooms, two classes, my homeroom and my partner's homeroom. So, I made one for each of us. I made that a little more difficult than I needed to because I trimmed um, so that my OCD self would be happy. Um, I made them closer to the exact size. And yes, I'll probably do that to all of them because that's what crazy looks like here in my world. Um, but anyway, I have printed out enough for two class sets. I'll probably just print out one extra page for, or maybe two extra pages for new kids. I worked on a few things yesterday as well. So I'm gonna share with you what those are and what they look like. The first things I made, this is also using the clip art from Kate Hadfield. Um, I made little table numbers. I wasn't sure which ones I wanted. So yes, while I was on the phone with my sister, I sat and cut out every single little one of those triangles. That was good times. But anyway, um, these will go on the buckets of supplies that go on their tables. So not really sure if maybe I'll use a combo of both, but I made 10. Even though I don't have 10 tables, it just seemed like the right thing to do because, <laughs> you know, crazy. The next thing I did is made my job titles. Now, these are not uh, completely finished, but I only had two on the next page, so I didn't print them. I think my other two were uh, lunch box uh, because we carry our lunch tubs from our specials to the cafeteria, actually our room to the cafeteria, and then go to specials and then back from that. So these are only some, but these will be on the board, and then I'm gonna use stars with the kids' names on them to put who is what job for that. I usually do two week increments, so I think I'll keep that. But so far I have table checker, that will be the person that makes sure that all the papers of the table turn-in tubs are turned in each day, and that the table itself is put together and ready for checkout at the end of the day. Secretary is new. This is something that um, I formerly had as teacher's assistant, but I thought secretary was kind of fun. Um, this will be the phone answerer and just, I'll think of some other things that the secretary can help with. Paper passers technicians these are the people that will make sure the computer carts in order at the end of the day and plug in all our computers barista of course and then line leaders next thing i made are my restroom passes i decided to go a little bit uh rogue this year and i'm not doing girls and boys i'm just doing a pass this was clip art that was in the i think the common 
uh, usage, whatever, but I'm not selling it so I can use it for, you know, whatever, even if it wasn't under common use. But this is my room and just says backstage pass. I thought that was really cute. I just kind of clipped it and snipped it until it was what I wanted. And then I'm going to put this inside one of those little lanyards. Um, and so even though I laminated them, I am still going to put them inside a lanyard. I made a ton because they tend to get destroyed throughout the year. Now, with the fact that I'm putting them in a lanyard, they may not. I may have these for decades to come. However, if I can't find a lanyard, I can always um, punch a hole and just put a little... Uh, the cords that I had last year in there and then I will go through 900 a month. The last thing I cut out yesterday was these little tags that are going to go on the front of um, we bought little popcorn containers just the paper ones. I'm going to glue these on the front just tape them really on the front and these are going to have their little back to school goodie thing that we got for them. We got them a movie pencil, which I'll show you in a little bit. Really cute. Um, they came with a pencil and a rubber bracelet that says something about movie night or I don't know, something. Um, we're gonna put the pencil, the bracelet. I have made bookmarks. I haven't made them um, yet, but I printed them out. I still have to laminate them. A little bookmark and then a little personal popcorn. We're gonna put in a little microwave popcorn. As I make these things, I just pop them in little baggies and then this will go with me next time I go into my classroom. And then hopefully I will not lose it. <laughs> I will know where it is when I need it. One thing I might do here at home, um, these jobs, I might pop a magnet on the back of those um, while I'm still at home because I do have some magnets here as well as at school. just finished laminating some stuff. What is it about laminating stuff that makes me so happy? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I did. These are from Hub City Classroom, and I just printed out a couple, but these are for my light board. And one says, where will your next book take you? And then this one, teach, eat, sleep. Actually, it's eat, te eat sleep, teach. Not necessarily in that order. Then I had a bunch of these. These are from Think, Grow, Giggle, and I just like the simplicity of them. What is a simile? What is a metaphor? What is a matter? Just kidding. What is personification? Onomatopoeia? Hyperbole? Alliteration? And idiom. So, I decided that I'm going to do an idiom, a, was it, oh, I can't remember now. I want to say two to three idioms a week, and I'm just going to put them up on the board. I'll show you those in a minute, but it was part of this pack, I believe, and it's just going to um, sit in those sleeve like the dry erase sleeves, and we're gonna just use the idioms of the week throughout the week as we can in conversation. I feel like language is tricky, and that will help them just kind of have a better overall understanding if we use it more often throughout our week. Then I laminated this I bought from the Little Ladybug Shop, and this is using the same 
clip art that I bought from Kate Hadfield. She obviously purchased it too, but I just love these. And yes, it is excessive because I just made new ones last year, but those had our game board designs and these have our movie Hollywood designs. And so of course I had to change them. No, I know that I did not, but I wanted to. So I just think they're so cute. Anyway, I got those done, and is there anything else? Oh, these are going to be the bookmarks that go in to the uh, goodie bags. And these were a freebie, I, I believe, and there is the name. I can't read it here, but I'll put it on the screen um, if I can. These are old. Wow. Is that 2007? Oh, maybe it's 17, in which case they're not as old. Anyway, super cute. There's two designs. There's this one and this one. So I'm super excited to get those cut out and ready for their goodie bags. I was able to read it um, off camera. It says Sassy Cat Corner. Super cute. And those were, again, a freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers. Then lastly, I redid my whole brain teaching uh, rules. So rule number one, follow directions quickly. Rule number two, raise your hand for permission. You can read. I'm not going to do it for you. There's number three, four, five, and the uh, diamond rule. Anyway, so I'm going to get those cut out over the next week or so. I like to do that while we're watching something on TV. I am on currently, I want to say season what? Three of the Gilmore Girls. I think this is my third or fourth time through. Love that show. So sometimes I will just put that on and then go through, go through and cut. So that's what I'll be doing. Here are the idioms that I am going to use that I was talking about. It is a very big stack. There's a few things underneath, but for the most part, it is this whole stack. So a little birdie told me there's so many that we use that we don't even think about um and kids will understand what what i mean when i say them or when you know they hear them in conversation <laughs> they might hear me say this one we'll see what kind of year we're gonna about to get up to um anyway i just love these they're easy to uh look at because there's not a whole lot going on but Anyway, I will let you know a little bit more when I get that set up in my room, what it's gonna look like. But I am gonna go through and kind of strategically pick ones that either go together or that uh, I feel like are easier maybe at the beginning of the year so that they will better understand them going forward. I also printed out these a little while back. These are from the teacher next door, and it is the bundle that I show a lot that I'm gonna be using um, more strategically this year, hopefully, on writing. But uh, we're just gonna start baseline as far as um, you know what kind of sentences we wanna write, what each would end with punctuation-wise. We're gonna do it all. So this is a really good resource. Um, I'll put it up on the screen again for you to see, but it comes with, and I know I did, I showed you that in another video, but part of the product comes with these. And I am 99% sure that I've already printed these, laminated them, and possibly even have magnets on them. So until I check my classroom, I'm not gonna do that. I almost did it again and I thought, you know what, that is just silly. So this one I don't have laminated. I might go ahead and throw that up on the board um, because I think that would be really helpful for them to see, you know, all the time, especially with the color coding. I love that. And that is about it for now. I think I'm gonna run out and do a few errands. It's so lovely today. It's like 110 or I don't know, some ridiculous number, but also the air quality is bad. So that might not be a great idea. However, I finished my book. I'm gonna show it to you really quick before I take it back. Finished my book. Why don't we head over there now? Um, and I want a new one. <laughs> you know, I only have a few upstairs, but I want a new one. I've already read this whole series, so that doesn't make sense. But 
this was so good. This book was so good. It is uh, part of a series. Finley Donovan is the main character. She is hilarious. It's kind of wrong place, wrong time sort of uh, scenario. She is a mystery writer um, <laughs> who just can't just can't win. She uh, ends up always in just bad situations with, as it turns out, the Russian mob. So, you know, not probably a group you want to cross or get involved with, but she has all kinds of in adventures with her live-in nanny um, and friend, and they get themselves into lots of trouble, but such a quick, easy read. This is, I think, the, there's the others in the series. I think this is the, I was going to say fifth, but there is another book. It's like a little offshoot about uh, Vero, Veronica, her nanny. And that was a really quick read that I think I checked out and listened to. Can't remember. But anyway, I have a couple books to return to the library. They close at five today. So I kind of want to go and just see if they have anything new for me there. But if not, I have a couple on my bookcase to read. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to help me grow my channel if you have not already. And I will be back with some more book reading and classroom prep really soon. Goodbye.